Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you everything there is to know about PUBG scopes in my ultimate PUBG scopes guide video. We're going to be going over everything from red dots up to 15 X's. I'm going to teach you how to zero in your scopes properly to hit any distance target. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to hit moving targets with each of those scopes as well. So all that and more in today's video, let's get started. All right, guys, so first let's go over some of the basic, very important things about all scopes in PUBG. Red dots, holographic, 2Xs, and 3Xs can all have their brightness changed and the color of the scope can be changed as well on the fly using uh, key binds that you can change in your settings. In addition to these changes, you can also go to your colorblind mode and changing that colorblind mode will give you different colors on your scopes as well. In addition to that, the red dot and canted sight can be toggled between different types of sights, such as a dot, a crosshair, or a triangle. Now, the next really important note about all scopes in PUBG is that their defaulting zero distance is 100 meters. And what that means is when you aim at a target, your bullet will land in the center of your crosshairs only at 100 meters. If you're closer than 100 meters, the bullet will land lower than what your crosshair says it will. And that's due to the way that the sight is mounted on top of the barrel of the weapon. Now, the reason why this is really important to understand and remember is when you're having close range gunfights and you're aiming at a target's head, your bullet might actually be hitting their neck or their chest doing much less damage than what you thought it would just because of the way the sight is zeroed in. So it's always important to remember when you're in a close range gunfight, it's best to aim a slightly higher than what you're used to, ensuring that your bullet lands where you want it to land. Now this issue is further accentuated with guns like the QBZ and the Groza because of the way the rail mounted sight is on these guns. The sight is mounted much higher on the barrel than compared to a normal weapon like an M4. So these guns, the bullet actually lands much lower than the sight compared to something like an M4. Now, when comparing the smaller scopes like the red dots, the canted, the holographic, and even the 2X, most of it comes down to just general preference on what you like to use or what you prefer to use more. In my opinion, I prefer the red dot because it takes up just much less screen real estate and I can see much more of my peripherals. However, the argument can be made that the default zoom distance of the 2X is very beneficial. And as you can see with this comparison, the 2X does greatly enhance your image and makes your target much larger and easier to hit but it does, like I said, take up more screen real estate. Now the red dot and the holographic can be zoomed in to a 1.5X while holding breath, but this only lasts a few seconds. And once your character's out of breath, it'll default zoom back out to a 1X scope. Now, another important side note is the larger the zoom on your scope, the more difficult it typically is to control recoil. So keep that in mind when comparing something like a red dot to a 2X. All right, now let's take a look at how these scopes actually perform out at the range. And since we can only zero in an 8X and a 15X scope, we're gonna have to learn how to manually aim with each scope to hit our shots. Now, during this test, we're gonna be using the M16, the barrel, the SLR, and the CAR-98. Now we'll be testing these at 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600 meters to find out where to properly scope in our sights. All right, now started with the 3X at 100 meters, we can see it's dialed in perfectly. The bullet lands dead center of our crosshair, regardless of what weapon we were using, like the M16, the SLR, or CAR-98. The problem is that further than 100 meters, it kind of gets a bit more tedious to know where exactly to aim, unless you are using something like a sniper that has a much better bullet trajectory. Now I repeated this same process for the four, six, eight, and 15 X. So in the interest of time, let's just speed up to the test results and we can take a look at them. This is gonna be a good spot for you to maybe wanna take a screenshot if you wanna study more. Now keep in mind while using this as a guide, the slower your bullet travels, the more you're gonna to have to aim up. So for weapons like let's say an ump or a Tommy gun that have a much slower bullet velocity, you're gonna to have to aim a little bit higher than where I'm putting the mark out on these crosshairs. And after this test is complete, I'll show you guys the actual bullet speed numbers for all of the weapons in PUBG. Now, just a quick side note, guys, on these scopes. Keep in mind that when you're using a gun like a sniper or a DMR, those bullets are much more accurate and they travel much more precisely than they would on an AR. Even a weapon like an M16 or a Mutant that tend to be better at long ranges. With those weapons, once you get to 200, 300, or 400 meters away from your target, the bullets sometimes just legitimately don't go where you're aiming, and that's just due to the gun's programming. 
those guns aren't meant to be as accurate as a DMR or a sniper at those distances. So, so just keep that in mind. Now remember, when using an 8 or a 15x scope, you can manually adjust your zero distance using your key bindings. So once you locate how far away your enemy is, every small square is 100 meters, you can toggle that zero distance in, center and line up your shot, and the bullet will land in the center of the crosshair every time, even if it's up to 1,000 meters. All right, now that we have a better idea of how to zero in our target for long distance shots, let's look at some tricks to hit moving targets too. Now, during these tests, I found that if your target is around say 50 to 150 meters, each scope has a certain mark where you can use it as a guide on when to shoot and hit your target. So let's go ahead and break those down. Now here again is another spot where you might want to screenshot your favorite weapon so you can study the results a bit more. Now I don't know about you guys, but the 3X used to be my worst and most hated scope to do single fire taps. And after doing this research and testing, I've seen a big improvement on my confidence for single fire. Now I'm just curious, what's your guys' worst scope to do single fire with? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, well, I hope you found today's video helpful. Be sure to keep practicing with your favorite guns and scopes so that it can become more muscle memory when you get into your next gunfight. Now, if there's something I didn't cover today that you want to learn more about, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave us a like. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, I'm live five days a week on twitch.tv slash C underscore dome. You can find me Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now this Sunday, the day you're watching this video, I'm actually going to be doing a YouTube live stream. So feel free to come to my YouTube channel, check us out and let me know what you thought of today's video. And thank you guys very much again for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.